One of the main properties of power series that we will use is that we can differentiate them term by term. Suppose we have a convergent power series. Then for x in the radius of convergence, we have the derivative of the power series given by the sum from k equals zero to infinity of a sub k times the kth power of the difference of x and x sub zero equals a sum from k equals one to infinity of k times a sub k times the k minus one power of the difference of x and x sub zero. Notice to differentiate with respect to x, we multiplied by k and then subtracted one from the exponent. But also notice how the lower limit of the sum changed from k equals zero to k equals one. This is because in the original power series, when k equals zero, we get a constant term a sub zero, and the derivative of a constant, of course, is equal to zero. The radius of convergence and interval of convergence of the differentiated power series is the same as that of the original. And now I'll show that the exponential y equals e to the x solves y prime equals y using the power series for e to the x. We first write y equals e to the x equals the sum from k equals zero to infinity of one divided by k factorial times x to the power of k. And now we need to differentiate the power series with respect to x, which is shown below. To find the derivative, we multiply by k and then subtract one from the exponent. And because the first term of the power series is a constant, the lower limit changes from k equals zero to k equals one. This gives us y prime equals the sum from k equals one to infinity of k times one over k factorial times x to the power of k minus one. We can simplify k divided by k factorial, which I've shown in blue on the left. Expanding k factorial, we have k times k minus one times k minus two and so on. Notice the k's simplify to one, giving us one over the quantity k minus one factorial and therefore y prime is equal to the sum from k equals one to infinity of one divided by the quantity k minus one factorial times x to the power of k minus one. From here, we can re-index a series by simply replacing k with k plus one, which is shown below. If we replace k with k plus one, for the lower limit of the sum, we have k plus one equals one. Subtracting one on both sides, we have k equals zero, and then simplifying the formula, we have one divided by the quantity k plus one minus one factorial, which simplifies to one divided by k factorial. And then for the exponent on x, we have x raised to the power of k plus one minus one, which gives us x to the power of k. Notice this power series is precisely the power series we started with for e to the x. We just showed using power series, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, which satisfies the differential equation y prime equals y. Convergent power series can be added and multiplied together and multiplied by constants using the following rules. First, we add series by adding term by term. Notice for the first power series on the left, the coefficients are a sub k. For the second power series that we're adding, the coefficients are b sub k. Adding the two power series, we have the sum from k equals zero to infinity of the sum of a sub k and b sub k times the kth power of the difference of x and x sub zero. We can also multiply by constants. Alpha times the given power series is equal to the sum from k equals zero to infinity of alpha times a sub k times the kth power of the difference of x and x sub zero. And finally, we can multiply power series together, which is shown below. The product of the two power series is equal to the sum from k equals zero to infinity of c sub k times the kth power of the difference of x and x sub zero. When multiplying these two power series, c sub k is equal to a sub zero times b sub k plus a sub one times b sub k minus one all the way out to a sub k times b sub zero. To get a better idea of this formula, I've expanded the first and second power series below in blue. Notice if we multiply, the first product is a sub zero times b sub zero, which is the constant term. And now let's look at the products involving one factor of x minus x sub zero. We have a sub zero times b sub one times the quantity x minus x sub zero. And we also have a sub one times the quantity x minus x sub zero times b sub zero. So looking below, we have two terms that contain one factor of x minus x sub zero. If we combine them, notice the coefficient is going to be a sub zero times b sub one plus a sub one times b sub zero, which does fit the formula for c sub k. Let's also take a look at the products involving two factors of x minus x sub zero. First, we have a sub zero times b sub two times the square 
of x minus x sub zero. And then we have a sub one times one factor of x minus x sub zero times b sub one times one factor of x minus x sub zero. And then finally we also have a sub two times the square of x minus x sub zero times b sub zero. We have three like terms that contain two factors of x minus x sub zero. Notice if we combine them, the coefficient will be a sub zero b sub two plus a sub one times b sub one plus a sub two times b sub zero, which again fits the formula for c sub k. And finally, the radius of convergence of the sum or the product is at least the minimum of the radius of convergence of the two power series involved. I hope you found this helpful.